David here with Big Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Bennu is a company which consistently has released a large number of new models. They are always coming out with something new and different, and that's playful and stylish and fun. Uh, lately, a number of their new releases have had hand-painted elements. Uh, the last Benno I reviewed was called a Beam Me Up with a comical space theme. It was cute. Uh, but the new Benno release I have for you today isn't hand-painted. And I wouldn't necessarily describe it as cute. Uh, maybe there's some folks out there who will think it's cute. But it is called the Viper. Uh, what I am going to do today is go over the parts and features of this reptilian offering, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Bennu for providing the pens you will see today for review, uh, one of which will be given away. So stay tuned to later in the review to learn how you could win one of these very pens. The Viper around, arrives in a standard Bennu box. I actually think they've redesigned the artwork on the exterior to uh, include some drawings of actual Bennu models. Um, inside we have some, boy, I'm just making a mess of this, some warranty information. Uh, there is a standard international long cartridge. And then what I was making a mess of uh, is the pen always sits on a bed of shredded paper like a little bird's nest. Let me get this out of the way before I make more of a mess. And then the pen arrives in this uh, cardstock sleeve. And we open this up. Uh, actually, the Bennu Viper comes in three different models. There is the Bamboo Viper, the Bush Viper, and the Mangrove Viper. Uh, those uh, are each names of actual species of vipers out in the wild. Now, the actual mold of the snakes on these three models is the same, so it's not like each snake has physical traits of that namesake snake. While I'm no herpetologist, from what I could tell, the snakes on these pens could potentially indeed be vipers, uh, which is the kind of thing I look for. It'd be rather embarrassing if you produced a pen called a viper, but it was like a boa constrictor that was actually on the pen. And the models I have in my possession are the mangrove, which has a green base with the red accented snake, as well as the bamboo, which has a black base and a greenish gold snake. Uh, stay tuned to learn which of these will be given away. Uh, just because I think it looks a little bit better on the camera, let's focus on the mangrove viper model here. The pen is made from resin. It's a somewhat familiar shape for a Bennu pen. Uh, they've had a number of models with this same basic shape. Um, it is a bit on the smaller side, but I wouldn't necessarily categorize it as a pocket pen. Uh, the distinguishing feature of this pen is the snake wrapping around the exterior. Uh, the coloring of the snake is hand applied. On this mangrove, the red has a bit of shimmer and pearlescence to it. Um, I really like that it isn't perfect. Uh, depending on what angle you look at the pens, sometimes the snakes look more red, sometimes it looks more green, and that's how snakes can be in the wild as well. Uh, the top of the cap comes to a blunt rounded point. I like the crackling texture on the exterior of the resin. It provides an interesting tactile feeling and reminds me a bit of the bark of a tree limb the snake is wrapping itself around. The cap angles up a bit until you reach what I will call the band, which is the snake coiled around the cap three times. Now, this is just a personal opinion, but I, I might have only had it encircling here maybe once or twice. Three seems like a bit much here, but that's a very small nit to pick. Uh, there is a medium-sized step down to the barrel, which tapers down. Uh, on the barrel is the letters of the company name. While I am a strong proponent of companies branding their pens, in this case, I could have done without the whimsical letters, which I feel just take a little bit away from the overall theme and design of this pen. Again, this is a very small thing, more of a personal preference. And the very end of the barrel tapers to a rounded point, similar to the cap. Uh, the cap twists off with one and a quarter rotations, and underneath we have a stainless steel number no. five Schmidt nib. Uh, these nibs are available in extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. I feel the gold color matches well with the overall colorway of this model. 
uh, on the bamboo, the black model. It also has a gold colored nib. Uh, and the bush, which is the blue model, has a silver colored nib. And here's a look at the plastic feed. Uh, the section begins with a slight flare before angling up until you reach a series of small step-ups, one to the threads, then another to the beginning of the barrel, and a third to the remainder of the barrel. Um, the section on this Bennu model is rather thin. I personally prefer my sections a bit thicker, uh, but it's usable for me. If a section is too thin, I find myself kind of pinching on my grip in order to maintain a good hold on the pen, and I don't feel I need to do that with this section. Uh, the section is made from smooth resin and is missing the texture of the barrel and the cap. Um, I do like the length of the section. Between the length and the smaller step-ups, this section does a good job of accommodating a wide variety of grip styles. Um, the pen is plenty long enough to use unposted, which is a good thing because with this raised snake element, the cap is unable to post. Uh, this is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges, long and short, and a converter is provided. Um, this barrel is a solid piece of resin, uh, and there are no internal metal parts, so with the appropriate amount of silicone grease here, you should be able to eyedropper this pen if you should care to do so. The Bennu Viper is available from a large number of retailers and sells for $180. Now, the official launch date, I believe, is February 29th, leap year. Um, a number of sites are currently taking pre-orders. I believe the official Bino site is taking pre-orders as well. Um, I appreciate it when companies uh, try new and different things, and Bino has never been afraid to stick their neck out there with any new and unique models. Um, in some of my opinion, have looked really great. Um, I would put this Viper in this category, but you know, all of these aren't going to be winners. Uh, if you recall, there was a Parrot pen, which comes to mind as being one that kind of missed the mark a number of years ago. Um, that pen from a while back was very interesting to review, but a bit odd. Uh, but this Viper here isn't odd. I think it actually looks pretty cool. And in regard to the giveaway, I will actually be giving away this model here, the Bamboo Viper, which has a medium nib. If you would care to enter for a chance to win this very pen, all you need to do is a couple of things. First of all, you need to be a subscriber to this channel. And then in the notes below, there's going to be a link to a Google form which you could use to enter. Uh, you'll just need to provide your name, your email address, where you can be contacted after you win. Because of course, you will be the one to win. Uh, that uh, I'll uh, add an additional optional question in there as well. Uh, 72 hours after the posting of this video, I will uh, randomly select a winner from the entrance, and then you will get your uh, pen out to you fairly quickly. Uh, thanks go out to Bennu for providing these pens for review as well as the giveaway. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Bennu Viper. I wanted to give you another closer look. I, I do like how um, the application uh, helps the color shift on there. So when you look at it at different angles, sometimes it looks a little red, sometimes it looks a little purple, sometimes it looks a little green. And I think that that's an interesting application. Uh, and then probably just because it's the one that you care about more, since this is the one that's going to be uh, up for the winner wanted to show the other version that is available and this one has just kind of a nice greenish gold to the snake which I th think looks nice as well. So uh, there is the two versions of that. They don't sit very well nice to next to each other. You know what? Maybe we'll separate those out. Uh, in regard to some other size comparisons this is what it looks like with the Caveco Sport. We'll put that right in the middle. And then here it is with a Lamy All-Star. And here it is with a Twisby Diamond 580. In regard to some pens from Bennu, uh, this was the Talisman Dragon's Blood. 
and then this was the Skull and Roses, which has a very similar design as far as the shape of the pen. Again, we're not quite fitting on here. Uh, and then I mentioned the hand-painted models. This is that Beam Me Up model that had some really nice, uh, cool, and whimsical art, especially with the cow here being uh, lifted up and uh, taken away by the spaceship. But that's what it looks like in comparison. In regard to uncapped comparisons, here it is with the Twisby Diamond 580, the Lamy All-Star, and then that uh, Bennu Beam Me Up. Okay, here we go with the writing sample for the Bennu Viper. This one is the Mangrove. And this is a, a broad stainless steel nib. And the ink I'm using, which I think is really appropriate for this particular pen, which is one of my favorite inks, which is from Tassia. And this is the Saba Midori. Now I know it's hard to see here, but this ink is really cool uh, that it actually goes on blue and then it uh, dries to a, a really nice green. This is what the ink looks like. Um, it has some really nice shimmer to it, kind of a sheening to it, not shimmer, but more sheen to it. Uh, and it's just one of my favorites. I think it works well with a number of different uh, pens. This is what that looks like with Sailor Yamadori. Uh, and then here it is with Lamy Petrol. This is what the bottle looks like. And then actually, if I open it up, you can see that it looks very blue in there. Uh, so it's blue when it's wet, but then when it dries, you can see that it turns green. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, I'm fond of Schmidt nibs. I think that they're a bit on the underrated side. You know, this is a stainless steel nib, so you're not going to get a lot of line variation on this broad nib. But uh, it's fairly smooth, and the ink flow is very nice. Uh, and then in regard to some reverse writing... It's a little scratchy, but it gets the job done. And then in regard to some fast writing. And the feed keeps up just fine. Uh, and this pen is just a real pleasure to write with. It's uh, just very, very nice. And so we have here the uh, Bennu Viper Mangrove as well as the Bamboo. Um, that if you would care to uh, win the Bamboo model, please make sure that you uh, enter via the link below as well as be a subscriber to the channel. And the best of luck to you because I think whoever ends up with this pen will enjoy it. It's something uh, different and unique. And then on top of that, it performs nicely as well. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.